Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss how to access columns of data frame. Let us consider this data frame DF. In this data frame, I am taking three columns, name, age and score. After that, while creating the data frame, I have changed the index to A, B, C, D, E and F. As you can see, this is my data frame. We will use this data frame to extract columns and we will work with this data frame. So let us get started with accessing columns. So there are two types using which you can access columns of data frame. The first way is you will provide the column name in the capital bracket. That column name can be a list of columns or a single column. So using first type, you can access a single column or n number of columns. The second type is a dot notation format. Here I am giving a dot and the column name. So in this way, you will be able to access only a single column. In the second way, you must remember that this column name should not be enclosed in any quotations. There is one note that in dot notation you should make sure that you do not put any quotation marks around the column name. So we will see these two types one by one. The first type where we will give our data frame object and our column name. So in my case, my data frame object is df. So I will give df then my column name. If you remember, we have this data frame where columns are name, age and score. So using first type, I can access single column or multiple columns. So let us access a single column. You can see, I am giving my df data frame object and then inside capital bracket, I am giving a single column. So if I run this, you can see it is returning a single column. That is name, all the names it is returning. If I see the type of object which it is returning, then you will find it is a series type object because it is returning a single column. If you want that your operations should return a data frame then you will write your column inside a list then you will pass it to the enclosing capital brackets in this case you see that my column name is returned but if you see the data type you will find that this is a data frame. So these are the two cases. In these two cases, your data frame columns will be returned. But if you pass it as a single string, then it will return as series object. If you pass it as a list, then it will return it as data frame object. We have accessed a single column by doing this. You can see this. If I want to access a particular value from this single column, so I will give the index value of my data frame in the second and closing capital brackets. If I want the name at index position C, I will give name then C. Let us run this. It is returning Virat because at position C, Virat was there. Now we will try to access multiple columns. So to access multiple columns, you will provide the list of columns inside the capital bracket of DF. So if I run this, you can see it is returning two columns. You can change the order of these columns according to your need. See, you can change 
change the order according to your need. These are the two ways inside the first type. You can access single column and you can access multiple columns. If you access single column, then if you pass it as a string, then it will return as series type. If you pass it as list, then it will return as data frame type object. You can access the individual value also by providing the index value after the data frame column name. Let us now discuss the second type where I will provide my column name after dot operator. In this type, I can access only a single column. I cannot access multiple columns. To access a single column, you will provide data frame object, then dot operator, then your column name. If I provide df dot name, then it is giving me the column. If I give age, then it will provide me age column. And it always returns as a series object. Since it is returning a single column, it will return a series object every time. In the previous case, you had the opportunity to change it to data frame object. But in this case, you cannot change it to data frame object. It will return it as series object only. The benefit of returning it as data frame object is that you can perform operation between two data frame objects. But if it is a series object, then you cannot perform operation between a series object and a data frame object. You will see the operations in our upcoming videos where you will see that we can perform different operations between two data frames. If I want to access individual value, then also I can access it. If I run this, this is a age. So if I want the age at the index position D, then I will give D here. You can see it is returning me 24. So I can access a single column or I can access individual values from data frame using this type of column extraction method. So these are the two types of column extraction in the data frame. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in comments. Thank you.